Let's bow our heads. Thank you, Lord, for a wonderful day, um, perfect weather, perfect couple, and perfect family, perfect friends. Uh, thank you for bringing us all together to celebrate this marriage, bringing these families together. Lord, we ask that you bless the food, and may we have a joyous evening. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so I'm going to keep this kind of short and sweet because I really don't want to get too emotional up here. But um, Sarah, I just want to start out by saying that you look absolutely beautiful tonight. Um, you know, I've really enjoyed watching you guys over the years as you've um, just dated and been together more and more. And I just, I really love the way that you guys love each other. Um, <laughs> from going to all the basketball games, um, my mom and I, I remember we used to sit and count the times that Keith would look back at Sarah during warm-ups. I mean, I'm telling you, it was a lot of times. <laughs> um, and then all the times that, um, well, actually, I was thinking of one specific memory when Sarah woke up from getting her, her wisdom teeth out. And uh, she was still a little loopy, and she really wouldn't stop saying how wonderful her boyfriend was. <laughs> That's all she would talk about. And so I know that you guys are crazy about each other, and I'm really excited for you guys and your future. I'm so happy that Keith's a part of the family, and I just love you guys a lot. Hello. Um, so I'm going to keep it kind of short too, but I just wanted to throw out there, um, last night at the rehearsal dinner and today at the wedding, there were a lot of moments where people brought up stories of Keith and Sarah, um, brought out different qualities of both of them. Um, and I got to thinking today, um, as I was preparing for the wedding and for this speech, um, just different qualities that I could see my, in, uh, them, of them in me. Um, so I wrote a few down, not too many, um, <laughs> just a couple um, of different qualities of Keith and Sarah. Um, number one, if I was more like Keith, I would finally be able to reach the top shelf of the apartment complex that we were at where he kept all of his good food, his Oreos, <laughs> his candy and his other sweets that he never let us have. Number two, I wouldn't ever cut myself shaving again because he has such a good beard. Uh, number three, I would have had Oreos every single night, about four to be exact, crushed up in a glass, fished out with a spoon every night. Number four, I would never do dishes again, ever. <laughs> Now on to Sarah, just a couple for her. Number one, I would finally be able to reach the top shelf <laughs> of Keith's cupboard where I could get Oreos, candy, and other cookies. Number two, I would never cut myself shaving ever again. <laughs> Number three, I would bake great things because she has a really good knack for cooking, which we got to try quite often. And number four, I would have to do a lot of dishes. <laughs> but seriously, um, as Emily was saying and a lot of other people um, the past day or two, um, I'm just really excited to see um, where you guys go with your relationship. It's been really exciting um, over the past two years that I've known Keith. Um, I basically felt, Sarah, like I knew you before you even got to college. He talked about you every day. Um, he honestly... He pretty much would set aside at least an hour a night, usually about 8 o'clock. He was an early to bed, early to rise kind of guy, which I never got. But again, we just felt like we knew you before you even got up there. And uh, everything that he told us about you was right. So um, I think Keith is really lucky to have a girl like you. And likewise, as I've gotten to know Keith, um, he has just been a man that I've looked up to, um, both literally and figuratively. <laughs> Um, but he's just a really great guy. You guys are great together, and I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you. So what to say. Thank you all for coming. Uh, we have family members here from near and far, probably from all the way in Palm Bay. <laughs> we have some, you know, 
Great, we got one over there. Uh, we have some from uh, uh, Tennessee. Uh, let's see, where else we have some from? Where's the next distance? Do we have Iowa? Iowa. And I think the farthest is my brother all the way in from uh, Nevada. So uh, times like this is really special. When we get to bring everybody together, our society is so mobile and we go uh, and chase opportunity and go places and, and bring our unique qualities that our families have together. And Lisa and I settled here how many years ago in, in Melbourne, Palm Bay? 15 years ago and raising Sarah and who knew that we would uh, be here today joining two families that have sort of grown up in this area uh, from, a, from a kid's perspective and we've got to watch uh, each of side of the family grow. But what's really neat is the uh, community or our extended family that we have grown to know here and uh, each one of you have poured into our family's lives, both on the Patterson side and the Hornigman side. And we thank you so much because that's turned each one of you guys into uh, knowing who you are in Christ and exploring what your gifts and talents are. And we know that you guys have so much in store for you. So one thing, one little story I'd like to tell, um, I was at work and uh, some of the administrators at work said, your kids have been dating a really long time because, you know, they hear the word, they hear us talk, and, and they said, when are they going to get married? And I'm like, I, they're not getting married, they're in college. And so um, that weekend I get a call from Keith and <laughs> <laughs> said, Mr. Honigman, I'd like to have lunch with you. And I'm like, okay, we'll have lunch. And so we sat down and we talked and uh, uh, I knew at that time, because he said he was going to be an engineer, and then he brought out a spreadsheet. So, <laughs> and that spreadsheet had a plan laid out on him to, for him to describe how he was going to take care of my daughter. And uh, he went through line by line, and, uh, and, and, it, and he really had laid out a plan. And more than that, it was a plan of his heart. And, and he was going to take my daughter and cherish her and love her and take care of her. And uh, we sat there at Subway for probably two hours um, just talking about um, plans and, and celebrating and, and uh, wondering if, if this was going to, you know, come together. And, and we, I think we both knew at that time that, that we were going to to be able to join these two families together. So uh, um, when he um, finished up, I looked at the plan and I said, you know, that's a really good plan, but God will direct your paths and uh, he'll probably throw through curveballs in there. So you'll probably have to add a few line items here and then take out that line item there. And he looked at me and he said, yes. And so uh, Keith, Today, when I watched you guys going down the aisle, I had no doubt that you were going to take care of my daughter just as well as I did, and probably even better. So let's raise our glasses here, and we have a toast to Keith and Sarah. Cheers. Cheers.